Hello friends, this is a very common question asked by many students when they are doing a comparison year over year. They have many cards and when they select a specific year, the comparison happens. For example, here I have selected uh, 2018 and uh, when I select 2018, these numbers are comparing between 17 and 18. But what if I select 2017? Since I do not have any previous year for 2017, either the card will show a blank value like blank or a zero value based on the measure what you have created. So how to get rid of that? How to get a notification that when I select 2017, the beginning year, it should show that there is no comparison since it is a previous year, that it doesn't carry previous year. Otherwise, it has to show the values. For example, let me select 2017. Now you can see the indicator is telling since this is 2017, there is no previous year comparison and other cards are not appearing. If I select 2018, things are changed. Now let me explain how to do it very quickly, very easily. And you can achieve it with only three measures. To explain this from the beginning, let me uh, have a new page and then let me uh, select one card and then paste it here. Likewise, let me have a slicer also. I can create one but better to select from here. So now this slicer is going to decide what number it is. So let me select 2018 and then I have uh, one revenue card. Let me have all other six cards. So control C, control V. Now these are the regular cards. So when I select any specific year, they will give the comparison. When I select 2017, so they will uh, show blank. So, oh, because I have taken all the values same. Let me change these values. So this is, uh, I mean, revenue should be cost. And then this revenue should be profit. This revenue should be last year revenue. And this one is last year cost and this one is last year profit. So this is the problem statement now. We don't want these blanks. I want an indicator. For that I need an extra card. So let me just borrow one card. And now I uh, let me keep this card here. Rather I can just align this card, I mean make the card as big as possible. And then let me keep it here. First of all I need, uh, I don't want any background for this. So let me select it and say background off. Now the important thing comes into the picture that is creating DAX functions. First of all, I want an indicator here. I want a notification here saying that this is 2017 so there is no uh, comparison so let me create a, a new candy i mean uh, a measure table there i can add all these measures so i say card measures now in this i need to add uh, the required measures the first measure is the text on this particular card so basically what is the logic behind it when I select 2017 there should be a text otherwise no sh no text uh, maybe a zero is enough so let me go to the card measures and create a new measure so the me measure name is if 2017 equal if selected value short year Basically, I'm selecting the uh, slicer. So this is the short year is equal to 2017. Then I need to say something. No comparison. Since this is the beginning year. Otherwise, just I'll give a zero. 
so it will show some zero now i need to apply this measure on it so let me add this measure on it and i don't want a uh, category label on only the data label and data label should be smaller so that the entire text can appear yeah now the next is so deciding the color based on the conditional formatting so now there are two conditions are there first condition is if it is 2017 second condition if it is not 2017 so i am creating a measure which is basically used as a field value in the conditional formatting and if 2017 color if selected value uh, short year equivalent 2017 then it should be white otherwise it should be black so this color will be applied on the the blank cards so when 2017 selected these cards will become blank not only in terms of the data label category label and the shadow also so that they don't appear at all the second measure will be if it is not 2017 so copy so now let me select new measure paste the measure now here if not and here also if not so now this will be applied on this particular slice i mean card so now it's very simple let me select first this blank card what is the objective when i select 2017 i don't want this blank card should not appear in terms of not only the data label category label also and shadow also so that clean slate for that i need to go to the properties go to the data label go to the conditional formatting go to field value field value will be if 2017 color now you can see the blank will disappear likewise i need to go to the category label conditional format field value field value will be based on if 2017 color also shadow because shadow is playing a very important role here and uh, i want shadow back also when it is required otherwise i say i don't want shadow when it is 2017 color now you can see the card is disappearing now let me just uh, format painter i mean on other cards so that they also behave the same way now let me keep this on here now what i need to do i need to apply the conditional formatting on it when i select 2017 18 that means if not so let me go to the properties and go to the data label conditional formatting and then field value field value will be 2017 if not 2017 currently 2017 selected so this will appear same way let me add uh, on the shadow as well and then let me go to that and select this now you can see that there, there could there should, should be a small tweaking also let me select 2018 so now you can see the numbers are appearing only thing is that zero is slightly appearing so that you can just uh, do a small tweaking uh, based on that uh, this thing otherwise it's fine so if you select it and let me make it Little small, maybe like this. Maybe I'll keep like this and uh, change the data label size to little small. Yeah. Now 2018, and 2000. I think I need to change the formatting also. So let me go to 2017. So here, when uh, I say data label zero millions, it should be. uh auto it's fine i don't want any decimal places and uh, i think that is good so that kind of uh, small tweaking is always required 
yeah now it is appearing nicely however you can align the uh, placement and accordingly do it but it is actually working little more tweaking is required so i hope you understood the uh, methodology if you have any questions please mention in the comment section and if you like this please share this video with many uh, and please do subscribe and let many people subscribe thank you very much